Elimination, top five finishers make the final. The trailer, no pay and no gain, follows out whoever she chooses, which in this case is Spellbound Hanover. Here they come. And they're off. First away is Fashionable Live for the lead. From between horses, Band's Image also trotting away well as Vikings Goddess. And from the inside is Do Re Mi, and Do Re Mi grabs command entering the turn. Big Sky Queen is fifth. Fashionable Live moving up on the outside. Spellbound Hanover is on her eight. She's in sixth position toward the outside with cover. Luscious Lisa goes off stride. No pan, no gain on the inside. Seventh also off stride there. Band's Image. Band's Image jumps it off. Opening quarter in 28 and 3, and Vikings Goddess quickly moves to the lead. Fashionable Live up on the outside, heading towards second. Do Re Mi now back in third. Spellbound Hanover gaps cover, just coasting up on the outside fourth. Big Sky Queen to her inside fifth. Apple Cider Hanover gaps cover slightly. Sixth on the outside. No pan, no gain is trotting along in seventh. Eighth on the outside, Armbro Vanquish. Benedict Jet is racing in ninth. Then the Breakers, Luscious Lisa, and refusing to trot far behind Band's Image at the half and 57 seconds flat. So they move on to the far turn with Vikings Goddess showing the way. Fashionable Live, a tough trip, is parked on the outside. Do Re Mi sits the pocket. Spellbound Hanover comes three wide for Dave Miller up on the outside. Also off stride toward the back of the pack was Benedict to Jet. And Spellbound Hanover is trying to reel in Vikings Goddess. She's quickly up into second, just a neck from the front. Do Re Mi on the inside third. Big Sky Queen squeezes out. Apple Cider Hanover three wide fifth, three quarters, 127 flat. And they come to the top of the stretch. And it's Spellbound Hanover muscling her way to the lead with an eighth of a mile to come. Big Sky Queen trots up into second. Vikings Goddess has dropped back a bit in third. No pan, no gain coming toward the outside. It's Spellbound Hanover. No pan, no gain has a shot at her on the outside. Big Sky Queen at the rail. No pan, no gain. Queen trots past and she will win it. Big Sky Queen second, Spellbound Hanover third. Luscious Lisa came back for fourth. Armbro Vanquish fifth, 155 and four. Results have now been posted official. Returning to the winner's circle, number 11, no pan, no gain. Three-year-old Mr. Vic Philly out of Crunch S by Prakis, owned by the Peter Pan Stables of Bob Glazer from Pepper Pike, Ohio, trained by Ivan Sugg. And Luke Willett is in the sulky. No pan, no gain. Also one of the top trotting fillies from last year. Picks up her second win this season, 155-4. and four. Career best effort for no pan, no gain. Number 11, no pan, no gain, 29.80, 11.40, Second, number two, Big Sky Queen, 21.60, 5.60. And third, number three, Spellbound Hanover, 2.20 to show. 11-2 exacta, 8-84-20. The trifecta, 11-2-3, dollars 20 Ninth race up next, exacta trifecta, pick three. It's the second Bud Beacon course elimination. There are no changes, also no changes in the upcoming pick three. Ninth race in 14 minutes at 10-15. Standing by in the winner circle, Bob Hollywood Hayden with the winning connections. Spots, uh, real honestly, and uh, you know we just needed some racing luck, and uh, we got some. Okay, you started the second tier here. Tell us about started race. Well, I, I thought I followed a three out of there, and that didn't work out. And you know, then I was like, oh, I should have followed the one, but it was too late. So we we're kind of locked in the whole time, but. Uh, I guess it made her feel good, and uh, around the last turn, you know, there were some openings, and she felt good about herself, so when she shook loose, uh, she had a lot of track. Contender in the final next week? Well, we certainly hope so. Okay, Luke Ouellette, Bob Glazer, Peter Pan. You know, she was third in the Breeders' Crown last year? Yeah, she was. She was very, very good in the Breeders' Crown. Uh, got shuffled back to about eighth, and was a strong third. Okay, she made 235000 What would she make the rest of that money, then? Um, she was fourth in the uh, Goldsmith Mage. She wasn't quite as good that day, but was a little sick. Um, won the Kentucky Sires Stakes final down at Lexington. Um, she was pretty good all year. First crop of Mr. Vic impression? I um, bought another one. So um, I think I spent 185000 for a yearling last year after I had some success with her. Okay, now what's, what, is this a, a Breeders' Crown horse? Is a horse going to be a stake for everything? Or? 
Well, she's eligible to everything. Um, I, you know, she's very handy. She's good gated, uh, has a great attitude, and hopefully that'll carry her far. Okay, Peter Pan, Bob Glazer, good luck to you next week in the final. Del Miller Field is now set.